I don't know, when I think about the biggest, most important economic policy, you'll forgive me if I don't think about monetary policy. We've got to talk about inflation. What we've seen over the last two years is the government added more to our national debt than the previous government, but also more than all governments in our history combined. So let's wind the clock back two years. Justin Trudeau started spending money, hundreds of billions of dollars, at a rate that we've never seen before in this country. You'll remember a half billion dollars that was supposed to go to the Prime Minister's buddies at the WE organization. This is all kinds of money that, frankly, the government didn't have. At the same time that the Liberals were spending money on all of those things, those sole source contracts and, and insider deals, we were there and we were telling these Liberals that you gotta watch out, you're going to create a situation where we're gonna have an inflationary crisis on our hands. Two years later, we're at a point where the price of everything has gone up. And look at those CPI numbers that I was talking about. The price of gas and groceries, they've gone up. We're on the, you know, that transition season between the summer and the fall. So we're switching the air conditioners off and we're gonna be turning our furnaces on. And the price of natural gas, the price of home heating oil, they're all going up as well. It's gonna be a really tough winter for Canadians. It seems like Justin Trudeau and the Liberals don't get it. So the Liberals made an announcement and they said that they were gonna ride in and come to the rescue of Canadians who are experiencing a real challenge affording the everyday essentials in their lives. But what did they actually announce? They said that they're going to you know, give low-income Canadians another $500 per year. That $500 per year is going to come in the form of more printed cash from this government that they don't already have. So let's be clear, $500 is going to help people who are experiencing a hardship today. But in the long term, the government is trying to solve the problem that was created by them printing more money with them printing more money. This is going to only make a, a, a greater hardship. They're treating the symptom and not the actual cause. And while Canadians are struggling, the government still has tax increases that are coming down the pike. We've got a payroll tax coming on January 1st. We've got the carbon tax that's gonna to continue to go up. The carbon tax increases are going to continue to drive up the price of all of the goods and services that we receive. And we know from the parliamentary budget officer that Canadians do not get more back in their rebate from the carbon tax than they pay into it. Now hold on a second. All of this is about the cost of living for Canadians. There's basic functions that government is supposed to offer when they are elected. And that's really about making sure that Canadians are better off when they leave office than when they got there. And for so many Canadians, you can objectively see that, that that's just not the case under these Liberals. So I'm hearing from folks that every time they go to the grocery store, they're able to put less in the cart than the week before. And, and we know that's true for four out of five Canadians. I'm hearing from seniors who are terrified about not being able to afford to heat their home this winter. And I'm hearing from folks who have seen the rates for their uh, line of credit and their mortgages jump up where it's completely eliminated not just their discretionary spending, but now it means that they're making sacrifices every single month because they don't have enough money. It's ridiculous. Justin Trudeau has said that he doesn't even think about monetary policy. So is anyone really surprised that we find ourselves in this inflationary crisis where we have too many dollars chasing too few goods? Part of leadership means making tough decisions. And it's gonna start with this government with spending less money. They're gonna to have to stop raising taxes on Canadians. You know, every time a cabinet minister brings a pet project to the table, they can't just roll out more cash for each of these. Canadians need the government to take this inflationary crisis seriously. So we're gonna keep watching this issue and I'm gonna keep fighting for you because while prices have been up this summer, we know that they're gonna to continue to go up into the fall and into the winter. Some economists are saying that we're teetering on the brink of a recession. I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear about any challenges that you're having. What's it like when you go to the grocery store? Are you putting less in your cart? Are you able to afford a full tank of gas when you need to fill up? And are you worried about heating your home this winter? Those comments are so important because we're gonna keep taking your message 
to this Liberal government to let them know the reality that Canadians are facing. So like this video, share this video, leave your comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.